welcome to this video. This video is my weekly riding lesson. Today I am riding Denver and I've got all the stuff you guys. I brought my sticky spray, I got my tall boots, I got my money, I've got the extra battery, I've got the saddle pad, and most important, I got the carrot for Denver. I always forget to bring him treats and have to use their treats, but I love that boy. Like. One huge thing I've learned on this journey to ho with horses and my own riding journey is that there are horses that you connect with, there are horses that you don't connect with. And this horse I connect with and he may never be my horse and that's okay. Um, but I love him and I love his part in teaching me to ride so I brought him a carrot. So we're gonna head there right now and catch, <laughs> catch him in the field. 4.48, I am 10 minutes early. I drove here you guys I drove all the way here it's getting dark and so it was like a little bit dicey once we got to the dark I almost drove into the ditch yeah you want to see all the gray hairs I got <laughs> all the gray hairs is from Laura driving <laughs> yeah but I know how to drive here now so when our horses move here it'll be all good hey you guys remember Shayla we went to her barn the other day she's at the barn with me so my girls didn't come but I got Shayla Shayla will you help me catch my horse yes we're sure you ride <laughs> guess Denver. Yeah. I love, I love her paddock. Oh, good. <laughs> I like that's the new shirt that she got at the Royal. Yeah. The belt, belt is super cute. She's got her phone all tucked in, looking like a nice equestrian. All right, show me your new camera. Okay. Ryan Coco tonight, Yay! Uh, this is the new camera. Canon is cool. Yeah, it's Rebel. It's a Rebel. Yeah, that's super cool. That's awesome. All right, Denver, here we come. Just in case somebody wants to know, yes, I'm wearing my tall boots in the field. I mean, I get how it happens. Anyway, Shayla's gonna, she's just changing. Oh my gosh, he's at the door, he's at the gate. Oh, where's my carrot? I gotta find that carrot, I brought him a carrot. Oh gosh, just got a soaker. Denver! It's date night, Denver. You wanna come with me? Don't run away. Okay, here. Oh, here's Shayla. <laughs> Perfect. Shayla's riding the same, like the horse from the same paddock. I'll come to get you after. I gotta find my carrot too. I brought a carrot. Oh, sorry. I'll get the gate. You take this. Oh, don't push me. He is pushy, isn't he? Pushy. Oh, he's very impatient. I swing that thing as hard as I can. He still doesn't move. Sam, jump in front of De uh, Coco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Probably I'll run you down. Out, yeah, I'll read him. I'll lead him out. Big, huge hole there. I hope you don't have shoes. I don't know if that door is open big enough for him. Oh, he got through. So this is what we're dealing with right now. That, that, that is. That's it, you guys. Pray for me. Want you close and maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. My arms are sore. Denver, my arms are sore. I'm with you. Whew. I'm the, I'm from the Moore's Better Generation. generation. You got your high heels on, and I'm wearing my worn out jeans. What could go wrong? Sipping on a beer, sing along to our favorite songs. All I want is you. You make my world spin round and round. Sometimes I don't. 
feet shorter, about six inches. While you're rising, I want you to look down at Denver's shoulders. Keep driving. While you're rising, I want you to look down at Denver's shoulders. Wait, can I just can do a couple of rounds working on my posting first? Your posting looks fantastic. Yeah, but we'll, we're, we need to get you on the right rising, so sip it too. There, now go ahead and do your thing. He's not afraid of that corner. Sip for two. Inside your leg, push him over. Can you go to a sit drop for me for a second? Can you tell me when his inside front leg goes for feel? Don't watch. When his inside front leg, so his left, goes forward. Oh, wow. Slow him down. No. You tell me when his outside front leg goes forward? <laughs> Shorten your reins. And maybe if you wiggled more and bounced less, it would be easier. Okay. You're going to feel a little bit of this. Slow him down. He's already going too fast. There. Isn't that easier? That top, right there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Slow him down. Yes. Now can you feel which leg is going forward when? Sort of. I want you to try and tell me left, right, left, right, left, right when you think it's going. No. Slow him down. Something. It's so fast that this is not fast. Left, right, 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 left, right. Can you feel that? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you see it. Yeah. Really? Because mm -hmm. you never could before. I can see it right now. <laughs> okay. That's good. So you can see when his right one goes forward? Harder, but yeah. Can you see his left one go forward? Yeah. When the left one goes forward, stand up. Bam. So, you are rising with the outside front leg. Do you know why I told you to go up when the inside one went forward? Because it's a slow reaction for the mind to get to the body. Yeah, that works. That you, so if you try to go up when this one goes up, yeah. you're gonna get the wrong one. That's right, that's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. So you found a ticket. I did, yes honey. Look at that inside front leg and you see it go forward, stand up. Squeeze. Squeeze harder. Here you go. You got it. No. Ah, somebody's too quicker. Close the door, please, girls. While you're trotting, trot over top of these three pink poles. 
between the cones. Try it again. So we hesitated and then he bounced too fast, right? So stay sitting, find the inside front leg, and then start, yes! Three times in a row, Laura! You know that is sitting, that's why. Mm -hmm. So look up. One, two, three, four, click, click. Click, click. Yes, good job! Change direction. What do we do when we change direction? Try again. Correct. So slow them down, balance yourself up. Find the inside leg. You got it. You don't have a shit eating grill on your face. Why not? I want to. <laughs> Big moment. What to do? Cause my heart starts racing when I'm with you. Love them when you do them that nicely. That's fine. If that's what it takes to get it, go ahead. Look up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, you even slowed your posting for that one. You're almost ready to canter. Why do you think I said almost? I feel like I, I feel like he's a doctor cancer anyway. No, he's not. <laughs> you should see him go 190 miles an hour and not cancer. Um, can you I can, walk him? You can take a breather. Holy cow, I didn't even need a break. <laughs> you um, could spring your gum out though. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Um. Drop. Yep. Do it. Double click. Good job. Light bulb. You can see it floating over your head. No, you're good. But it's time to two point. So think about sinking your heel. Bring your shoulders up taller. Like shoot your arms away from your, his neck. You're, you're doing this so much. Okay. End up taller. Okay. You can still grab his hair. Just stay up a little taller. Keep your shoulders back and your chest up. There you go. You'll notice the moment you lean too far forward because you fall onto his neck, and the moment you lean too far back because you fall back into the saddle. Grip with your inner thigh and hold your little booty. Your butt should have a little bit of a left, right, left, right, left, right, without actually side to side swaying. Does that make sense? No? I don't know. Good, you're getting up into the position faster. And go to rising, sit and find your rising diagonal. Up. 
First time you did it wrong. Nope. Nope. Yep. I think my bottom's done. Trotting over the poles. In two points. So you have to steer. Oh, that's burpees. That looks like ten burpees to me. Oh, yeah. Not till you're done. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, quick. It feels like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? Yes, good. Change direction. Good. Outside leg has changed, therefore, excellent. Very good rising. I'm losing you. What was the ick? Did you not feel the ick? That was me stopping. Yep. There. Hands up. Now go sitting trot and bring your elbows straight back to walk. Lean back. There you go. Now you may walk. All right, so I used the sticky spray, and I noticed that there's some residue left on my boot, and I washed off the saddle. But look at, there's his hair, too. But man, that stuff works. So, uh, uh, I brought Lexol wipes to wipe down the saddle and to wipe down my legs, but man, that stuff is amazing. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to close up the video here, but I wanted to tell you that A, the sticky work, the sticky spray, amazing, and even though people think it's cheating, it works in a way that it helps to hold your legs where they need to be so you can work on other things. So yeah, you still need to build leg muscles, but it really helps to take one thing out of the equation so you can work on other things. I loved my lesson. I feel like when I'm here by myself without the kids, I learn a lot more, I'm more focused, I am more like, it's just really starting to come together for me, at least I feel like that. That's an amazing lesson, I'm so excited. This is something I've decided to give to myself. Like, I'm gonna learn to ride a horse without all the distraction and all the stress. I'm actually gonna commit myself now that I have a horse to ride that I actually feel like I connect with and I actually can learn on. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.